Hi there, Paint Shop Pro users. Welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. This one is going to show you how to draw one of these. This is a Celtic knot and it is a fabulous looking thing. I think you'd agree with that. It is so neat, so special. Um, it's just the way it goes over and under and over and under. It's a mystical symbol and it's simple and complex all at the same time. So it's one of those timeless kind of cool things that you can see. I've seen them for years. But really, I just got an interest a couple of months ago. I don't know why, but something caught my attention somewhere. And I thought, man, could I do that with, with Paint Shop Pro? And so I started digging around trying to figure out if I could. Well, no, I, I, didn't, I could never find anything that told me how to do it with Paint Shop Pro. But I did find a pencil and paper set of instructions that translated perfectly to Paint Shop Pro. And the instructions were provided by a young lady named Debbie Hodges. And I am grateful to her for uh, showing me the way to do this because the other ones were just bizarre and difficult okay so this is what our end is uh, this isn't perfect it's probably the first one I ever did uh, but I'll show you what you can do the first time that's what you can do okay so let's get started with this now I've got the thing started and partially done uh, and this is probably going to take a couple videos to get done because it's a fairly long process and I don't want to bore you and show you how to make little dots and little lines and do this that and the other thing because you really need to know how to do the complex stuff and uh, so these things are fairly straightforward and fairly easy to do so we're starting off with a piece of seven by five let's let's get it all on screen here seven by five document which is in landscape format and it's got a white background uh, seven by five just seemed to work well for me so you choose whatever size you want but seven by five is what I've got the second thing I wanted to do is I wanted to have some guidelines on here you really do need some guidelines because the guidelines are uh, help you keep the whole thing straight and the way you do that is you go to the view menu and you come down to the grid there's a grid cool that's neat um, so what I want to do the way that this works is you go across an odd number of lines and you come down one uh, odd number less number of lines Does that make any sense so I'm going across nine and I'm going to come down seven if I wanted to have this a bigger knot I'd make this I'd come across eleven and I'd come down nine now I don't think these uh, this grid works good enough for that so I'm going to make it a bit uh, finer I'm going to go to the change grid and snap guidelines snap properties right here and this one on the current image is 0.5 I'm going to change that to 0.25 and 0.25 and when you see what it does for this it does that so now I've got a real nice little thing going on here so that is our our first thing we're going to do now the second thing we're going to do is we are going to set this up with some dots as guides so I've got the grid lines and I can make some guides and these guides will help us through all the way now the thing to do is do all this on layers every step do on a new layer because at the end of it we're going to throw some of the layers away and we're going to erase things on different layers and we don't want to be running afoul of three or four different items on the same layer and and causing all kinds of grief that way so this this one here raster one is going to have a series of dots on it I'm going to put a dot here and then here and then here and then here until I have nine across on one line so it's gonna make make a dot skip one make a dot skip one make a dot skip one and this is what you get make a dot skip one make a dot skip one bing 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 cross so there's nine then starting with this one is number one two three four five six seven coming down so that's uh, dot skip dot skip dot skip then you just come across the bat bottom and up the top so that's that's a good start for our grid lines now you can see I, I didn't name this but I'll put um, outside dots okay I'll call this an outside dots and that gives us some idea of where things are now this one here to help us even further we're going to put another row of dots on the inside and I'm going to change the color of these dots to red so it just is a bit easier to see because they're all going to get thrown out at the end anyways but they're just guides now to start us off so the first set of uh, red dots are going to be on this line right here and it's going to be here 
and there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. So you're going to end up with 7 across here. These corner dots do not need a corresponding inside dot. <laughs> Does that sound confusing or what? Okay, so let's, let's show this is what you got. Okay, so now we've got the outside dots and we've got the inside dots. And we will call this one inside dots. How is that for a really creative name for a set of inside dots? Okay, there we go. That's the inside dots. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to connect this dot to this one, then this one to this one, this one to this one, and just go all the way across, cross, 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 till we get back here, this to this. And that gives us a nice group of 45 degree uh, lines. And you can do them either with the uh, pen tool or you can do them with the brush tool. In Paint Shop Pro, one of the cool things about Paint Shop Pro is that you can take the brush and you can put a, a mark anywhere. We can put a dot right here, for instance. And we can go over here and press and hold the shift key. And it'll make a perfectly straight line between those two places. And it doesn't matter what your angle is because it'll always do it. And it's, it's a really neat uh, thing that Paint Shop Pro has. So I'm going to get rid of them. And you can do it if you don't want to use the pen tool. You can start here, right there, and there. And let's do a, a sample one. So you can see these dots aren't necessarily right on the grid lines. They're just kind of a guide. But you want to keep your little dots here, your, your lines, as much as you can right in the right place. So there's my first dot. And here is my second dot. Okay. And you can see it's a soft edge brush, I think. Yeah. And I don't know if I want it to be soft edge, but it is, so I'll just leave it that way. And uh, then you can go up here and you can do it again and again and again. So I'll do one more. Then I'll show you what I did earlier. Whoops. See, now I should have just made that other dot. Okay, so I'm going to do this one. Now I press the shift key. Okay, and we'll zoom out, take a look at it. Okay, see, that that's that's what's happening now. Whoops, <laughs> uh, too many taps. Okay, so this we got. Now I'm going to get rid of them, and I'll show you what I did earlier. Okay, so this is my third one, and it is going to be called, let me see, right across. I'm going to call this one 45 degree lines. 45 lines. So that means it's 45 degrees. Okay? Now, to finish this off, what we want to do is go the other way. And so in this case, we're going to start here to there, then we're going to go here to here, and then here to here. Now, if I wanted to use the pen tool instead of the, um, uh, the, the paintbrush, that I could do that. So I'll just zoom in here. And this is just a, a show, but I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, the pen tool, I've got it on line lines and polylines. And I make my first node right here. And my second one right here. And there, we got a beautiful straight line. Actually, the lines here, I think, are a bit straighter with the pen tool than they are with the brush tool. But it's, you know, we're, we're splitting hairs at that point when we do that. So when, once you do this, you got to go right click and apply. And that takes care, gets rid of the uh, pen tool and the nodes and everything, and then you can start over again. So that, as you see, we started at the 45 lines, but as soon as I used the pen tool, it made its own vector layer. So it popped it up. So I'm going to del eliminate this vector layer, delete it, and uh, because I already got it done. And uh, the next one is called minus 45 degrees. And I'll zoom out a bit. Uh, one more. Okay, so this would go. Now, if I go to minus 45 degrees, that's what we got. Oops, why is that missing? There we go. Okay, so that's kind of neat. And that really is this, the, the end of the setup. Because once you're here, the setup is done. And the next thing is to... Now the next one is, is doing curves, and the curves will be done 
with the pen tool. Uh, unless you are a really good freehand drawer, the next thing will be done with the pen tool. And you can actually do this freehand as well, if you're good enough. Um, but I admit, loudly and uh, proudly, that I can't draw a straight line worth beans. So uh, I use the pen tool with the shift key, or I mean the, the, the brush tool with the shift key, or the pen tool uh, with lines and polylines. So there you go. That's the first half of this. The next half is going to add the corners, the little scalloped edges, the insides, and it's going to get rid of some of these lines so that we actually end up with the, uh, uh, the, the Celtic knot, which I think is gone. There we go. Crazy thing. It's going to end up like that. Okay, so we'll take this grid off, and that's where we're going. So uh, take some downtime, get yourself up to this point, and then we'll do the second part, okay? So I appreciate you watching and hope you follow along with the second part because I think you'll really enjoy it. It's, uh, it's really neat to see this thing come out as you, as you work on it. Okay, well, so we'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye.